Welcome to Growing Up Guide Cup. We have a little different episode for you this week. We recently found out our friend Seth has passed away. And in this episode, we like to tell you more about him and what he has meant to us. So a few months back, we actually had a conversation with Seth about hiking Mount Tamalpais. This is something he wanted to do with us, and he also wanted to make an episode of it. His exact quote was, take a hike, like maybe at Mount Tam, with some other razors and working teams, like mm, Team SNB. So that's exactly what we did. We first met Seth at Guide Dog Fun Day. He was one of our fans and we had been communicating back and forth via YouTube and Facebook. When we met up at Fun Day, we had a nice long conversation and really hit it off and we seemed to really enjoy Seth's company. And Matt and him started talking and thought it would be fun to do a shoot with both Seth and Bamboo and Ricky and me. So the day we decided to go shoot at Pier 39, we announced on our Facebook fan page that we were going. And Seth was really quick to respond saying, hmm, says Bamboo, let's crash the shoot. Before that day, Matt and I had not spent very much time with working guide teams. So it was a real eye-opener for us what they are all about. We've always known that guide dogs make a huge difference in people's lives. To experience it firsthand really opened up our eyes and really changed the way we look at what we're doing with our show. My favorite memory has to be when Matt was filming Seth and Bamboo. They were moving so fast and Matt really had a hard time keeping up with them in the camera. And on that day, we kept going, oh, let's go here. And before we knew it, Seth and Bamboo were gone and we lost them in the crowd and we had to go searching to find them because we just couldn't keep up with them. It was truly amazing and it was an interesting experience for us. Within a few months, Team s and had become one of our biggest fans. They were with us when Grown Up Guide Pup premiered at the New Media Film Festival in San Francisco. I kind of find I'm at a loss sometimes, you know? Um, at a loss of just, just words? Kind of exactly like, what to say to kind of convey the feeling. Of you know, the of relationship that, that you have. Like, especially or, like on that first meeting. You, you know? still remember it? Yeah. Oh, completely. I remember yeah. what Emily told me. Really? Yeah. Um, you know, because she was closing the doors and she was like, she's like, this is bamboo. And she's like, the first two things that I think of when I think about her is energy and intelligence. And those are two of the first things that I picked up when I met you. Yeah. And I was just like, wow. You know, and that was when bamboo was sitting there and her tail was wagging so much that the front of her was shaking to like counterbalance. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever really be able to forget that. What was really cool was that the episode that we shot with Team s and at Pier 39 happened to be the one that the judges chose to be screened at the festival. Before Seth lost his sight, he was an avid mountain biker. And while we were hiking Mount Tam, we could see exactly why he enjoyed coming here so much. Seth had a huge passion for guide dogs and raising awareness about how much they had changed his life. It was infectious and it really moved us. He described to us that getting bamboo got him out of a very dark place. And after getting her, he had found new freedom. Having a guide dog helped change his life. He seemed to have found his calling with Bamboo that he wanted to help anybody who had a disability and could have a service dog and supported them in all of their efforts. He helped to found an alumni group of guide dog users called the Foggy Doggies in San Francisco. He was also a docent at Guide Dogs for the Blind and led tours and gave out all kinds of information about what guide dogs do for people and what they meant to him. He was a wealth of knowledge and an encyclopedia all about guide dogs. Seth had found his calling. After getting bamboo, it was very obvious that his new life mission was to bring awareness to what guide dogs do and to be a great model. Seth was happy in being able to turn something negative in his life into something very positive. And when people ask us the question, how can you give these dogs up? After knowing a person like Seth, the question is, how can you not? Our friendship with Seth started off with him being fans of us and our show. Well, after spending some time with him over these last few months, we have become some of Seth's biggest fans. And we are very committed to continuing the series in his honor and continuing to raise awareness and bring more support to guide dogs and guide dog users. 